All praises, all praises. Tapping in um, with y'all this morning. Today we're going to read uh, James chapter 2 and we're going to read uh, 2 and 4. Maybe 2 and uh, 2 and uh, 5. So, like I said, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. That's God and His Son, who we call uh, Jesus in the English tongue. So, uh, James chapter uh, chapter two and five says, "Hearken, my beloved brethren, had not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and hearers of the kingdom, which He had promised to them that loved Him? But ye have despised the poor." Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? So the so the most so, so um the rich men do oppress uh the poor. You know, that's how majority of the uh these uh 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 federal uh what do you call it prison systems are uh Private prisons, you know, that's how they become rich and get rich off the uh, off the poor, you know, because they they blame the poor, uh, they always in the uh, poor people neighborhoods patrolling, uh, the poor neighborhoods, uh, oppressing uh, the poor people by stopping, um frisking the poor people planting drugs and planting things on the poor people just to take them to jail and um and put false charges on on them so then that way they have to pay a bail to get out and then uh if they don't have the bail money then most of the time they have to sit there in jail uh until they bun they get a bun reduction or something like that so this is how these people oppress the poor the rich man oppress the poor and, and the Most High knows that. And that's why uh, uh, the Most High uh, is there for the poor as the poor man defends. Uh, he say, do not they blaspheme me that worthy name by the which ye are called? You see? If you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Ye do well. So that means you love your brother or your sister. Your neighbor is not everybody. Your neighbor is your, your kinsman. Uh, that's your neighbor. Um, so the most I say, uh, if you kept the law, according to the scripture, uh, then we would do well. But since we don't follow the law of the scriptures, then that's why we're going through all this hell that we're going through as a people, as a nation of people, as being part of the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin. And are convinced of the law as transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So you have to uh, keep the whole law. So if you break one, just one law, you didn't broke all of them. According to the scriptures, for he that said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not kill. Now, if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou art become a transgressor of the law. So if you, so if you kill someone, if you commit adultery, uh, you know, uh, you, you still broke the law, you know, 
you bro if you commit just one of these things, then you pretty much uh, the most I saying that we broke all the laws. Uh, so and not, and adultery is not only physical but spiritually, you know, <clears throat> by serving other gods, according to the scripture, that's committing adultery. So everything is spiritual before it's physical. Now physical um, adultery is when we are married to our husband or wife and we go off with someone else. That's the physical um, adultery. But spiritually adultery is uh, serving other gods and not following the God of this book. And the God of the world, Yahweh. So with that being said, I'd like to share that this morning. I'll be back with the next one. Peace.